Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa presented his eighth budget to date but said that this year's budget was the most challenging of all as he had the task of presenting a budget high on deficit but low on revenue. However, the state's agriculture sector turned out to be a silver lining. It was the only sector that witnessed growth in the state in spite of the COVID pandemic. While industrial and service sectors saw a slump, agriculture witnessed a growth of 6.4%. The Chief Minister announced an allocation of 31,028 crore rupees for agriculture and allied sectors in this year's budget, having recently passed the Karnataka Prevention of Slaughter and Preservation of Cattle Bill, Yadurappa has announced one goshala in each district. The government also hopes to get the land acquisition hurdles for Yatinahole project cleared, apart from pushing the Mekedatu Balancing Reservoir project. Grants will also be provided for Kalasa Banduri project this year. The government has assured in this budget. Also, it has proposed a new export centre to boost export of medicinal plants and spices. Among other schemes, 500 crores has been set aside to encourage organic farming. To encourage farmers' children to continue with agriculture, it has been proposed that 50% of the seats in the agriculture university will be reserved for them. Earlier, this was at 40%. A quick look at what the districts will receive. A food park is proposed at Vijaypura. Rupees 50 crore has been set aside for a horticulture technology park at Koppal district and a dry chili market under the PPP model has been floated by the Ballari APMC. Keen on encouraging Ayurvedic medicine in veterinary science, a new research institute at a cost of Rs 2 crore is set to come up at veterinary college Shivamogga. A well-equipped flower market at a cost of Rs 50 crore is set to be established at Bayapanahalli. It's been a tough year for the state government and the chief minister can use all the help he can get from the farming community.